Thirty years had passed. Decades without rain. The once fertile plains of Fars had become as barren as the Lut Salt Desert. A few arrow shots from Persepolis. The Kushans, bloodthirsty warriors from the east, were attacking Persia. Persian soldiers defended the land, no matter the cost. Ardashir resisted heroically, but his men fell one by one. Anahita summoned her remaining strength in battle. For Yuvishka, the Kushan general, victory was certain. Until history took a different turn. The seven immortals were the best warriors in the kingdom. One of them would become a legend. Onward, immortals! None of you will leave here alive. Hey! Who's having all the fun? <laughs> when Elias cleared the path, follow me, Sargon! Shabbat, was it? <laughs> Your life ends here. Not if yours ends first. The mighty Simurg, protector of Persia, has long left. But should our enemies try to take advantage of the situation, they will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing. Thirty years ago, the divine bird Simurg graced my shoulder thus showing his trust in me to guide our people. Today, I, Tomiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Varum, you and your forces have once again saved the kingdom. Hassan, Prince of Persia! Step forward, Sargon. Word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persepolis. Accept this royal sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar, the Black Wind that destroys all in his path. I didn't choose that name. You need not worry. 
I do not attach any importance to these superstitions. The winds also carry the seeds of future harvest. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Princess San. <sighs> Let us drop the honorifics. And may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. As you wish, Hassan. Your name brings hope to Persia and is feared by the enemy. What a reputation. Maybe. I didn't ask to be prince either, but fate has spoken and I must accept it. Varum, we're somehow the only immortals left here. <laughs> the others are probably letting loose up on the roof. Not all warriors belong in the throne room. Join them, Sargon. I'll be along soon enough. I'm proud of you, Sargon. I defeated Yuvishka, and we saved Persepolis. Did we? Thousands died on the battlefield. We're out of supplies. Persia is barely surviving. The Kashan will surely come back. Would you call that a victory? I let my pride go to my head. A warrior's journey is always one in progress. And when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wanders. What is at the end of my blade? I know. Found an answer yet? <sighs> I won't figure that out tonight. Maybe a drink will help. You sh Thanks, but I have other matters to attend to. You have what it takes to become one of the greatest, Sargon. I know. Just watch me. And listen to Varum. He will keep you on the right path. I'm telling you, Prince Hassan may be my son! <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. He looks nothing like you. He took everything from his mom, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right, you are really not her type. Who's type? Ah, the kid finally decided to join us. The hero of the day. <laughs> the queen's new protege. So, you're mingling with aristocracy now, eh? Or trading in your swords to become a satrap. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight, huh? Don't encourage them, Sargon. It just means you've impressed them. Yeah, he's right. You were impressive. If you want to talk more quietly, I won't be far. So, will you still remember us now that you're famous? <laughs> I'm trying to stay humble. Oh. Sounds like Anahita set your head straight. Um, sort of. In her own way. You know, it is amazing what you did. You should be proud of yourself. We all are. One of our own eliminated the Kashan General. Outstanding. And you are the White Lion's pride. You ragtag bunch of immortals. <laughs> you have always been destined for greatness. And with Sargon's bravery, that's another one for the history books. We made the city safe. The people are at peace again. This is cute, but... Can we go celebrate now? Our usual haunt has food and drinks on the house. Laram, you're coming with us. I wouldn't miss it. Laram! Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Kidnappers? They must still be in the palace. Take the lead, Sargon. You may be the last to have spoken to him. We must find Prince Hassan. Anahita, what is this all about? I wasn't planning on killing you, Sargon. Stay out of this. Move out of my way. What the hell was... 
was that? Ah, uh, still a child. Anahita, what is going on? Sargon, who was it? I thought I recognized Anahita. Is she involved? Yes, she is. Without a doubt. Baram, gather your forces. You are to leave for Mount Kaf at once in search of Prince Hassan. Ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way. We need all the help we can get. We will not fail you, Your Majesty. Bring him back. Bring back my son. <laughs> Citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond these gates. I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. Sargon, you know her best. What do you make of it? It doesn't make sense. She has always been loyal. She wants to seize power for herself. Oh, what do you even mean? The Simorg may have disappeared, but the mighty god used to live on Mount Kaf. And perhaps still does. It has always been the Samorg who appoints future kings and queens. Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members of the royal family. She has lost her mind. She will never get the Simorg's blessing like that. We can't be certain. After all, the Samorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure. Prince Hassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Ardashir and find Prince Hassan. <laughs> Wait for me here. Don't worry. I won't be long. sacred of mountains. Been here before? No, but I've read about it. This place was once the site of King Darius's palace. Religion, medicine, astrology, geometry, algebra. All knowledge was gathered here, accessible to all. Mount Kaf was home to a great citadel of wisdom, the pride of all Persia. And? What happened? No one survived to tell the tale. And to think that Prince Hassan is caught up in all this. Who knows what might await us? What is this sorcery? I'm a warrior, not a seer. Frozen as it falls. As if time had stopped. Here, not everything is what it seems. Let's be cautious. I'm good. Kais and Layla are by my side. Your swords? Yes. They have never betrayed me. <laughs> Stay sharp. Prince Hassan can't be far now. Something is not right here. We must proceed with caution. Sure, man Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> ah, let's go then.
Barum, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Long dead, judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. We are not welcome here. Stay on your guard. We will find the Prince and Anahita. We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. doing here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. I even go where others can't. I've chatted and argued with every creature. And I know every tree here. Like this one? Are they These trees are special. They're called Wakwak. They have the purest of Athra. So, stand beneath its leaves to restore your energy. There are many Wakwak trees throughout Mount Calf. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an... A general. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? There hasn't been a prince here in so long. I've only seen you. Well, if you've lost your friend in Mount Calf, then you're going to need an Eye of the Wanderer. What's that? It's a very rare... Very ancient thing. Here, for you. Go on. Try it. Here. I might as well show you a neat trick to remember places on Mount Calf. Thank you, miss. I don't know your name. My name is Faraba. I'm Sargon, warrior of the immortals. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? Well, Sargon. I'm sure we'll meet again in Mount Calf. I'll share my discoveries with you when I can. But I'll need time crystals to do it. Time crystals? <laughs> Welcome to Mount Calf. Did tell me you found a path to Prince Hassan and Anahita. No. Have you? It seems they avoided the depths of the Citadel. Only the most abominable creatures lurk in the darkest reaches. I do my best work in the shadows, and Hassan is not here. Don't take unnecessary risks. Thanks for the warning, Rajin. Take the prince to the Simor Gate. Anahita! Don't you dare harm him! If you want Prince Hassan back, come and get him! Anahita! Anahita was here. She's taking her sand to the Simor Gate. Then Artaban may be right about her wanting the throne. That thing above us. What is it? I'm not sure. But to get to her sand and Anahita, we must destroy it. From this distance, that's not possible for either of us. Maybe Menelaus can help here. Varum sent him to the east to investigate the forest. I'll try to find him. I'll look for another way. What brings you here, traveler? My allies and I are in pursuit of... a traitor. Then you and the others are trapped here, too. Mount Calf has seen its share of travelers. Many are lost within the web of time's curse. Beware, warrior. Death and misery roam the Citadel. I've seen my share of death. Even the most determined of warriors must be prepared. Its unique properties will aid you. Just know that each one is precious 
and can only be changed at a whack whack tree. I'll make good use of this. Father! Where am I? Hey, wait! Father, what's happening to me? Wait, who are you? You just disappeared. his bow. What's going on? Orod, Menelaus isn't with you. We got separated. Why? It's strange. I encountered another version of myself. A warrior who looked just like me. <laughs> what are you talking about? You are not welcome here. What was that? What? Some beast too scared to even show itself, that's what! Now where did it go? Good luck to you, Sargon. Try not to go mad! <laughs> then Elias, you're alive. And that amazes you somehow? I found your bow. Hmm. Different possibilities, all unfolding at the same time. It may be worrisome. At least I know my bow is in good hands. Anahita is taking her sand to the top of the citadel. Right. To the Simor Gate. Before I forget, my bow serves a dual purpose. You may want to take another look. I'll meet you up there. sign of the prince none and I've been scouring the place for three days now three days Artaban but we only got here hours ago hours for you days for me years for Ardashir's man not so rough with the prince Anahita I know you you're loyal to the crown what is the meaning of this there is still a long way to go. Hold! I know that Athra... Anahita! Stop right there! Go after him! Hassan and Anahita, they were above us a moment ago. I see. They must have gone up west. It's strange. It's a maze here, but... I feel I've walked this path before. Farah? Are you all right? Yeah. Yes. All is well. Here, take this. I don't want to lose anyone to this place. Keep walking, Hassan, and no sudden moves. I have no wish to hurt you. Sargon, listen to me! Hassan is coming with me. Step aside, Sargon. I'll deal with this. Thank you, Varum. Anahita, please surrender. Varum? No! 
the sun. Anahita, what are you hiding? How dare you, Varum? You killed our prince. Have you no honor? Honor, duty. Don't we all have blood on our hands? What makes you different? I'm not after the throne, and I don't prey on the innocent. So long as I'm alive, you'll never get the crown. So be it. Get out of here! Why kill the prince? The son was just a pawn. Don't you trust my judgment? So you truly want the throne? What will you do about it? Exactly what you taught me. This was your doing, Sargon. Sharper than your sword, Sargon. First time for everything. Efforts are futile. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I will erase every chapter, every word of your story. I can undo it all. You are a weapon raised to serve Persia. This is the greatest honor. Remember, Sargon. I am Sargon. I have come to challenge the White Lion of Persepolis. <laughs> you stray dog. What ditch did you crawl out of? Lower your weapons. General Nate. Stand down. He'd tear you apart. And where should we deliver your corpse, young man? Dump me on the banks of the Aras, or the Yast Plains. It's all the same to me. What brings you here, young warrior? People say you're the greatest warrior in all of Persia. So, I've come to prove them wrong. Very well, then.
You are a brave one, Sargon. I'll give you that. And bravery is what makes us immortals. How am I still alive? How could I be so wrong? Guys, where's Layla? What's at the end of your blade? In this case, the ground. <laughs> your anger blinds you, Sargon. Hassan is dead. The immortals have failed. Victory, failure. Must every passing encounter on your journey be given a name? Hey! Give me the eye! It's mine! You know, you're not the only one acquiring the Simorg's powers. You seem stronger, but not strong enough to save a friend yet. Save a friend? What do you mean? Oh, so now you have time for me. Hmm. Are you courageous enough and clever enough to save your friend along a timeline of the past? Hassan is there. Wait, is there a way to save Hassan? Tell me. I'll do whatever it takes. Hmm. <sighs> well, all right. I'll tell you. But you must deal with someone with the darkest of souls. A soul so dark and dangerous, she relishes in chaos. But how do I find her if I don't have my eye? What eye? You already have two of those. My orb! Prism! Eye thing that you stole! Oh, that thing! You had it all along. <laughs> what? But how? Here, I'll show you where evil lives. Look for her within the pit of the eternal sands. You must show proof of courage and cleverness to get there. Not one more step, Sargon. Did you betray us? What are you talking about? Tell me the truth. Did you kill Prince Hassan? What? No. Varum did. Nait, I would not lie to you. Where is Anahita? I don't know, Nate. I did not kill Hassan. I know you can't lie when you're angry. It's just... Varum told us a different story. Prince Hassan is dead. Sargon killed him. Wow. That takes balls. Varum, this sounds like nonsense. I can't believe it myself. Where is Sargon now? He fled with Anahita. He's with the prince gone. Persia is threatened. If there's anyone fit to lead, it's you, Varum. What about Queen Tamiris? <laughs> Famine, drought, people suffering, Kushan, attacks. She's had 30 years to prove herself. I am no leader without you, but together, we can restore Persia. My bow is yours, Varum. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Persia, people. But what about the kid? It pains me to say this, but Sargon must not interfere. Varum, where are you going with this? We must stop Sargon and Anahita. By any means necessary. You all agree to this? Agree or disagree? It's high time to trim his sails once and for all. Find them. Of course. They all believed him. Except me. And... Artaban. He has always believed in you. You can't stay here. I can feel Radjen is after us. So... This is the end for the Immortals. We're hunting each other now. The end is not yet written. Stay on the move. Don't look back. 